All right, so now that we've gone over the procedure for determining planes, let's go through an example together. So this is going to be on your quiz. Um, I've got the picture of a plane shown here. Um, and what I want you to do is determine those Miller indices and write it as we would write a crystallographic plane. Pause the video, and then when we come back, uh, I'm going to show you what I have in the procedure for this uh, plane. All right, so let's go through this example. And here I've cheated. Um, I, instead of trying to hand draw these unit cells again, I printed them off. And I highly recommend that for you as well if you have access. Uh, to a printer um, and you're, that way you don't have to sketch the unit cell each time. Uh, but I've also sketched in the plane um, and this is the same one in the slide so you can go back if you need a better view of it. So let's go through the procedure of how we determine the Miller indices for this particular plane. And we're always going to start with the same procedure. Um, so step one is if it goes through the origin we're going to move it. Sure enough it goes through the origin here. And so I need to pick uh, either, again, redraw this plane or reposition the units, uh, the origin of the unit cell. So the easiest way is to pick a new origin. So again, you can't have it go through the origin. So I don't want to pick this as my origin. I don't want to pick this as my origin. And so that kind of leaves me with, um, if I'm just uh, doing corners, this one, this one, this one, and this one up here, right? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically select an origin that I can, where I can see the intercepts, right? Because this is just showing the plane within this unit cell. But it, again, it, it's an infinite plane, so it extends out, and we can redraw it to do that. Uh, but we want to make our lives as easy as possible. So uh, what I'm going to try to do is pick a position where I can see all the intercepts, right? So um, I can't really see it here here, here. You can use all those, but you'd probably have to redraw this plane. However, let's say I pick this. This is my new origin. So this would be my new x-axis. Again, I call it x prime. This would be my new y-axis, y prime. And then this would still be z or z prime. So the reason I chose this is at this point, I can see intercepts at various positions uh, with this origin. And so I don't have to kind of extend this plane. So I'm going to pick this origin. And that's where I say it can take some trial and error to kind of pick a point and see if you can locate the intercepts easily or if you'd have to redraw. So this is what I'm going to pick. So from there, I want to, I, I do my same little table here. So x prime, y prime, and z prime. It's my table, and I need to pick out those intercepts. So again, I start with x prime, and I look on the x prime axis for the intercept with the plane, and I see it right here. And that's the edge of the unit cell. So that means that that length is equal to one of that uh, edge length a. So one a. I can put a positive there just so that you know that it's positive. Now for the y-axis, this is my new y-axis, y prime, and I can see that it intercepts here at this corner, right? So that's another plus one, and in terms of b this time. And finally, the z-axis, it's not uh, crossing the positive z-axis, but it is, however, if you plot down here, this would be my negative z prime axis, and it intercepts down here at this point, which is, again, one length of that axis edge, which is c. So in this case, it's going to be negative 1c. So these are my intercepts. Now I need to take the reciprocals. So 1 over plus 1, 1 over plus 1, 1 over minus 1. So in this case, um, they're all the same. We'd have 1, 1, negative 1. So it hasn't changed that. But still just do it as an exercise. So these are my now Miller indices. Um, I don't have to do any adjusting because these are all 1s, so we don't have to adjust it down or up to get rid of the 
fractions or to get to the smallest integer. So I just have 1, 1, minus 1. And so I'm ready to put in my parentheses to indicate I have a plane, 1, 1. And then we always describe these as bar 1 um, whenever we can, right? So when I can draw this, I'll put the bar on top of it. Uh, certain applications on the computer do not let me do that. So for your future reference. But this is our Miller indices describing this particular plane here.